um, in terms any of other the, old sand committee shapers or anyone that you would recommend? Well, you know, and there's yeah. I mean, you've got uh, like a Hobie's old old Hobie twins that um, Terry Martin shaped. Uh, that's you know always nice. You know, anything from Terry Martin or Hobie or any of those guys is is pretty much gold. Let's walk back and see what we got. Yeah, we should try to get that Hobie down. That's a cool little 20. They would go nuts on that thing. A little double winger, the Terry Martin shape. That'd be kind of cool. So give him, a, give him a 20 and give him that butt board. Yeah, so it'd be just a full kind of Hobie session. Yeah. So the Hobie guys would probably be stoked. Yeah. You know, and you got some good lineage on it. Um, you know, I could probably, yeah, look at that, shaped by Terry Martin too. Yeah. So this is a pretty cool Hobie. I mean, it's kind of back from the laser zap era. It's just a single fin, but it's, you know, based off of Shane Haran style. Um, I think I've got a wing keel. I'll probably give him a wing keel for it too. You know, that, that weird fin, that's the Shane Haran fin. So we'll give him a couple different fins. Because for me, especially coming from this era, fins were super important. Um, a, a board was a board and you didn't have a lot of them, but where you positioned your board, the size or your fin, the size of the fin that you used was really intricate to, you know, to the board itself. There were very few people that had a stash of boards. The first time I ever met Skip Fry, I was probably about 12, and he had like six boards in his Volkswagen, which at the time was like nobody had six boards. You know, and I was like, oh, Mr. Fry, you know, I mean, it must be so cool to have all those boards. And he's like, kid, just play with a fin. You, you know, you, probably won't ever have this many boards, little did he know. But he goes, you can always play with the fins. And he goes, that's, that's as good as anything. So um, from that day on, I've really been a fin fanatic. I mean, I've probably got, I don't know, 600 fins. So that's gonna be a good one right there. Wide, fat, and thick. Okay, it's gonna fall quick. Ready? Oh, I got my hand on the fin. Oh. Ladders and I don't get along. So there you got it. Yeah, they're super epic. That's almost like a ghost toby. You can hardly even see the logo. But it's got foam fins on it, which is cool, period for the time. Old guy Greg Mungle, Florida guy that came out here, he was super, super fond of, of foam fins. Could, good chance he made these. Double winger. Kind of towards the end of the twin fin, you know. They were real close to thrusters by then. This board probably, all these boards probably have some special story to them when they've got that kind of logo -age on them where you have, uh, you know, you have more than one logo or the, the boards are logo-wise in the central area. I mean, that's just such a tiny Hobie. They're not shy, you know, they're not too uh, shy of their logos. So I don't know, but they're all pretty bitching. Anyways, here we go again. This would have to be somewhere in the late 80s, excuse me, late 70s into the early 80s. Single fin still. We have right here, a star fin is what they call these, star fin. And it was, um, concepted by Shane Haran and Ben Lexon. So again, we've got uh, what was called a laser zap design. This was a Shane Haran collaboration. Uh, he brought the kind of fruition. He rode the tour on it. He won events with it. Most people couldn't ride it very well, but uh, he liked that wide point shoved way far back. I think he worked with Jeff McCoy on this type of design initially. And this is a uh, Hobie shaped by Terry Martin.
Okay. Check it out. Wicked. This is a Hobie. Hobie, shaped by Terry Martin. Uh, rest in peace, Terry. Josh, his son, makes killer boards. Uh, this is an 80s board. Probably, it feels like an 84, maybe 86 in that range because it's more tapered. By then, they'd have uh, had twin fins have been around for two or three years and they'd uh, taken them to another level in terms of fin positioning and placement and uh, bottom designs of the boards. You know, it's got the MR Big B running through it about two thirds of the way up, but then it flattens out a little bit. Double wings, so that will give you a little bit of a uh, tighter tail, make for a tighter turning radius. And twin fins at the time, um, well, Potts rode them. I mean, everybody rode them pretty much, but they were hard to ride the barrel in, you know, unless you were one of those guys. They had a tendency to want to drift out. So by pulling the tail in, by putting the double wings on, that would help um, to, to give the board a little bit more bite. And at the same time, you keep a wide point on it, somewhat coming off near the tail of the fin.